Hey you, so I just got off of work and I stopped by Walgreens and the other day I actually stopped by Walmart. So I have a couple of like drugstore items that I kind of want to share with you guys. So it's kind of like a haul. Um, so excuse my less than appropriateness. So I got two London Soho New York sponges. These are new and they're freaking adorable. There are four designs or at least Four new designs that I personally saw um, so yeah they just look like this and this is what the original London Soho sponge looks like um, it's a little bit bigger than these so a little bit bigger um, it's a little bit smoother because these I, I guess because they're printed they're not as smooth but I think that they'll work just fine they feel like the same actually no this feels a little bit more dense but again it could be because of the actual um, print on it so these were about $4.95 or $4.94 something like that they were under five dollars um at walmart the rest of these things are actually from walgreens so i really wanted the milani limited edition blushes i don't know what the collection is called but the ones that look like this um so this one is called love potion so let me open it so this one's love potion and i actually swatched it on the back of my hand here that's what it looks like and then this one is called this one is tea rose and then this one is lady rouge lady rouge so these are actually pretty shitty like I'm sorry they just they're not very good at all um they I don't even know how to explain this they look really pigmented, but when you go to swatch them, so let's see. Do you guys see, like, I would swatch it, like, right over the other one. Okay, let me try one more time. So let's do this. Can you guys see that? It looks really pigmented on my finger, but none of it really transfers onto my skin unless I, like, rub. And even then, it goes on kind of chalky and um really weird um but if you have the patience to work with these and they actually they they kind of do work after a while but you have to have patience for these because they do not just swatch amazing um and i've tried them on my face and they were not amazing the only way the only thing i would say is that i think it's because it has like a texture to it on top um, so maybe after you get rid of that first texture layer, then you might actually get a good blush under it. But because of that texture, it just, it's not very good. Um, so we'll see. And then I got this Dulce, uh, what is it called? Delicioso Pink, um, by Milani. And this is a matte one. This is one of their new matte shades. And I actually haven't opened this one. This one I'm really excited about. It's just a beautiful pink looks like this so let me swatch this one. Ooh, it's so smooth okay this is not at all what I was expecting the color to look like I don't know what I was expecting but this is what it looks like swatched it's this one down here um it's nice it swatches much better than the other two um, but it's not what I was expecting it it's kind of a really cool tone pink like a like a Barbie pink like a true Barbie pink um, so I think I'm gonna go back for the other new matte color which is a little bit deeper um, because I don't know I don't know it it doesn't look like it'll complement that my skin that well I was actually really excited for that but the pigmentation on it's really nice it feels really really smooth so we'll see Next, Wet n Wild was having a sale, so I actually got this uh, sharpener, and it was like 69 cents. And I go through these sharpeners like crazy just because when they get old, like my pencils start to break, so I don't like that, so I buy sharpeners all the time. And since that was 69 cents, I was like, oh, why not? And I, oh, what is on here? What's that stuff? Okay, I don't know what this is. What is this stuff? Hmm, my lipsticks are dirty. Don't know why. Anyway. These are Revlon lipsticks. They just look like this. And these are like retro lipsticks. These are the lipsticks with the, with 
the display claim is that these are lipsticks that were discontinued and that we voted them back in. I don't know when this vote took place or what, but um, but yes, I hadn't even I didn't even know about these two colors. So this one is called Jungle Peach, and then this one is called Snow Peach. So if you can't tell, I'm into peaches now. Um, they are, this one's a really loud kind of color. It looks really loud, um, but, or vibrant, I guess is what I wanted to say. This one's a cream finish, I think, super lustrous. I don't know if that means cream finish. So this one is called Snow Peach. This is how it swatches. So it's really pretty. Um, I think it's a really nice color. One on top here, this one is Jungle Peach. Yes, Jungle Peach. So this one does not go on as smooth. This one goes on kind of patchy. Snow Peach actually goes on really nice, but the Jungle one doesn't. But if you apply like a lipstick under it, then use this one, it gives a really nice effect. Um, or at least that's how I've been using it, like over another lipstick that I kind of want to brighten up a little bit. Um, these are the only two that really caught my attention. The other one was like a red, and then the other one was like a frosted lilac, and then the other one, I don't know. I think there are like five or six of them. Can't remember. Um, but they, these are the only two that were like actually really nice looking. So I don't know. I would recommend if you guys can find these. These are actually pretty for springtime, and they are limited edition. I don't know how long that's going to be around or if they're going to re-promote them. It said limited edition on the actual um, thing, but I don't know if they're trying to re-promote them or or what's going on. But these two colors are really nice. And right now at Walgreens, or at least the one Walgreens that I went to, Rimmel, oh, Rimmel is actually 50% off. So I went ahead and picked up the Lash Accelerator Mascara in Extreme Black. This is what it looks like. I love this mascara um, over other mascaras. I don't like to wear this on its own, but I do like it to ex not accelerate, but extend my lashes over other mascaras. I really do like it, but on its own, it's, it's not the bomb.com, okay? And then I got three of the show off lacquer, lip lacquers, because people have actually been talking about these. Um, well, actually, they were like a big thing a couple months ago when they first came out, and now people are still talking about them, but they're not like as big. But anyways, they were 50% off, so I decided to pick up three colors that um, I know I would wear like during springtime. Because I thought I was recording it. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, so this one is called Nova. This is this color right here. This one is called uh, Luna, which is this middle color right here. And then this one is called Apocalyptic, which is probably the brightest of them all. Um, I think that, which one is this one? Nova is probably my favorite. Luna comes in second and then Apocalyptic, just because it's so bright, but... I am really impressed with these. They swatch really amazing. So um, I'm actually really excited about these. Um, so that is it for my haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul, even though I'm kind of out of it because I'm kind of sleepy and hungry and there's a billion people here and I'm always really shy when it comes to like filming around other people. But I really wanted to get this video out there because if not, I'm just going to start using all these products and I'm never going to mention them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and the lighting is not too bad. We'll see. Um, so until I see you guys next time.